So I'm Franco the Speedy Marufo and we are today at the Death or Glory Tournament. It's run by the Death or Glory podcast, uh, which is like Mike Marlowe, Steve Atto, uh, Rupert Penn Morden, Richard Fielder uh, and uh, Luke Nusser and probably some other guys that are less important. And <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a small scale tournament, it's like 30 something guys, um, really good atmosphere, really, really, really organised. Um, and then the mission we've just played is Kill Points. Um, and it's um, Hammer and Anvil, and I've played against uh, a Care Space Marine list with Heldrakes and Demons as allies. Okay, so today I'm rocking a Farsight bomb. Uh, I got Farsight, I got Shadow Sun, I got a Space Marine Librarian with Gate and Null Zone. I got a full Farsight bodyguards with seven bodyguards, uh, two with double missile pods, so that's eight missile pod shots. Two with double fusion blaster, so that's four fusion blaster shots. W two, one with a uh, double burst cannon, so eight burst cannon shots from him. One with a burst cannon and an AFP, so that's another four burst cannon shots and AFP. Uh, Twelve gun drones, so that's another twenty-four strength five shots from those guys. Uh, two shield drones from Shadow Sun, so three up invulnerable shield drones, and two shield drones from the normal guys. And I've also got Batman, which is basically a, a crisis suit bodyguard guy. He's got no guns, but all the toys. He twin links the squads, makes them monster, hunt, monster hunter, tank hunter, all that kind of business, and uh, he makes sure that they, they ignore cover when they really shoot. Um, it's, it's super powerful, obviously. It's got lots of shots. It's, it's quite durable because Shadow Sun gives them stealth and uh, shrouding, so they, all, they, they tend to get a two-up cover save whenever they're sort of dicking about. And um, because the librarian's got gate combined with the wallow trait from Farsight that uh, makes sure that he doesn't scatter when he deep strikes, you can gate with precision. So it's very manoeuvrable. It moves 24 inches every turn, and it's from any model on the squad, which is, catches a lot of people out. You know that's why you, you see my deployment, and I've set up in a big line across my deployment zone. And the reason I've done that is because in my first turn, I'm going to pick any one of those models, any one of those drones at the front, and I'm going to move 24 inches from that drone, form my deep strike around it, and then kick out some pain. You know, and that's that's kind of the way the, li the list works. You know, it works based on far Farsight, and then we've got three uh, sky rays to give me some sky fire and deal with demons and allow Farsight to shoot at stuff that's in the sky. And the rest of it's just uh, troops. We've got two units of fire warriors, or six man fire warriors, two units of 13 crew uh, to, to be outflanking and get objectives that fill up the fields, uh, and one unit of fi five scouts, which again just gribblies to catch objectives. Really the essence of this list is the Farsight Bomb. Um, it, it zips around the table, doing lots and lots of damage, and it's very difficult to counter it. You know, because it's a known cover, because it's tank hunter, monster hunter each turn, because it's twin linked, um, it's you can easily kill um, two or three things every turn, and two or three strong things, but when the enemy gets to shoot back at you, it's so resilient to damage, because that two up cover save, and because you can automatically look out, sir, um, because it's a bodyguard unit for Farsight, you can automatically look out so with any independent characters. So Farsight typically will stand in the front and he'll just keep taking saves until he fails the first three. When he's won one wound, he'll automatically look out, sir, and um, hopefully to some shield drones that are nearby and they'll be the ones that take the next um, set of wounds. But if I'm getting a cover save, I'll just put um, gun drones nearby because they've got a two-up cover save and that's that's where the resilience comes from. Um, and it's very, very powerful um, army, obviously, just, uh, just now, but it's going to disappear after this weekend because... Uh, the Space Marine Codex has just been released and you can no longer automatically take Gate and Null Zone. Uh, Null Zone's really just there because uh, if I bump into Dave at some point I want to embarrass the Streamer Council and make sure he doesn't get rerolls on it. Um, but uh, it's going to get updated now and because you need to roll for your powers, although you can still get a list that's like it, you can't get Null Zone anymore and you can't reliably pick up Gate from the telekinesis um, table because you need to roll for it now. So uh, it was my last chance to use a list like this. Uh, I'd only played it twice before we got to this tournament but it's turned out to be a lot of fun and sure enough I've tabled the first three opponents um, and not taking a massive amount of damage in return so it's working out pretty well.